You're watching GLAD News, serving all of sunny side Abbeville and beyond. Now back to Sebreville Breakfast Mornings with Aaron. But seriously, morning, night, week or weekend, who gives a shit? You're not going anywhere. Do you even own a watch anymore? I'm thinking about sending the four-year-old off to boot camp. He's been a real jackass lately. Oh, shoot, we're live. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Later in the show, we'll be talking to Brittany about her absence taught a recipe. Great for the kids. But before we do, we got the latest community updates. As part of the Sangria Summer of Love and Lockdowns, the Superville PTA would like to remind everyone to contribute to next Saturday's Black Tar Heroin Bake Sale, raise the money for Cheer Camp in the fall, which will be canceled. The mayor would like to remind everyone that the funeral for Jack Griddle, rest in peace. The founder of Flapjack's Moonshine and Pancakes, also where my precious little baby girl was conceived, will be postponed. However, Residents will be able to view him in wake at the back of Svetson's Butchery and Botanical Garden across the street from that burnt down children's library where I took that little Jimmy McGrady's virginity. If you hit the Walmart, you've gone too far. Just trust me, you'll see it. It's right there. Just trust me. Residents will have access to the viewing wake service for the next 18 months or more. According to an unreliable source, Spitzen's Butchery and Botanical Garden will have their flag flown at half mast, out of deep respect for our town's greatest fallen hero. My producer would like me to clarify, I said half mast, not half of a mask. Please, if you are attending the event, do not wear just half of a mask. As I may or said, and I quote, you have two options. Either wear a fucking mask or don't wear a fucking mask. Either is fine, both equally cool and morally right, but you must choose one and stick with it. None of that half-ass crap, okay? Anybody caught rocking that one strap over the earlobe look will be punished to the full extent of the law. Musical accommodations will be provided by the Supervale Junior High School's orchestra. They will be distancing from each other and their instruments, so you won't be able to hear them play. For fucking once, am I right? <laughs> but locals can pay their respects tonight to the king of moonshine and pancakes by waving a pancake outside their window at 8.15 p.m. standard time. If you don't have a pancake, you can do a pita. If you don't have a window, go fuck yourself. I hope you all appreciate me taking time away from the annual wine tasting and baby auction to pass on this week's announcements. For their safety, all cheap house homeowners will be welded shut in their basements starting next Tuesday with a bucket to shit in. We'll be partnering with Dale Cox Enterprises to lease out sections of your home for the Adopt-A-Prisoner initiative. They'll be turning specific parts of your house into mini prisons to hold members of our local overcrowded asylum. The summer blood drive has been canceled and replaced with the birthday bonfire from my grand nephew, Kenneth, who turns eight. Yay! Next month's tax hikes will help pay for his strippers. That's all for now. FFTFO! We'll be right back with Steve, live from his locked garage with the traffic report. But we haven't heard from him in over a week since he forgot to turn off his car during his last report. But that's okay, because even if there's no Steve, there's no traffic, okay? A real wait and see moment you won't find anywhere else except on breakfast evenings. I mean, breakfast mornings with me, Erin. I fucking swear. What the fuck is even a breakfast morning? Okay, I, dinner, 
Dinner Afternoons, okay? That's that's a better name for a show, all right? That's, that's the name of a damn show right there. Dinner Afternoons. It makes just as much sense. I swear to God, I am so over this shit. 